Don't ever take somebody's excuse that it was the recession that caused their downside. Because the boom caused their upside. Because anybody can fail. Anybody. And I fail and make mistakes every day. But I try very hard to learn from those mistakes. And the most important thing is, don't believe your own hype. It's by the experience of life and the experience that you're going through that allows you to monitor through it. But in that recession, it did bring me to my knees. I lost everything. Um, I virtually went bankrupt. It was like somebody put a fence around the business and said, toxic, stay out. And that's how hard it hit. No different to what we're in now. You really get to see people for what they are when your back is up against the wall. But the most important thing is to be focused on what you want to be, whether it's an electrician, whether it's a plumber, whether it's a computer programmer, whether it's a footballer. It's all about the people around you. And the one piece of advice that I would give to anybody is always look at your circle very, very deeply. We had uh, a rotary failure, but I managed to get the helicopter down, but as it was coming down, it hit, uh, hit the ground hard and had vertical rollover. But I got myself out, the pilot was knocked out, because I was there with a trainee pilot. I pulled him out and he was in intensive care for a week. But, and I got out with a nick underneath my face. It does come with a stigma, there's no question about that. Let's, let's not try and hide behind words. But that only means that the bar's set a little bit higher for me. So that means I have to try a little bit harder. That means I have to work a little bit harder. I'd always be with my own people. Why? Because we've been persecuted for so long. I'm one of the few people, especially in business, that has ever come out.